Welcome to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. Election Day was held Tuesday, deciding state and local races across the country. In Virginia, former Democratic National Committee Chair Terry McAuliffe was elected governor, defeating Tea Party-backed Ken Cuccinelli, the state's attorney general. McAuliffe's victory was seen as a rebuke of the Tea Party-backed government shutdown that impacted many of the state's workers. In New Jersey, Republican Governor Chris Christie easily won re-election, laying groundwork for a possible presidential run in 2016. Here in New York, Bill de Blasio won an overwhelming victory to become the city's first Democratic mayor in two decades. The challenges we face have been decades in the making, and the problems we set out to address will not be solved overnight. But make no mistake, the people of this city have chosen a progressive path. And tonight we set forth on it, together as one city. Election Day also saw votes on a number of contested ballot measures. In Washington state, voters rejected an initiative that would have required the labeling of genetically modified foods. Major corporations and other opponents of GMO labeling spent over $20 million to defeat the measure. Meanwhile, backers of a measure to impose a $15 minimum wage at Seattle's International Airport and surrounding hotels have declared victory. New Jersey voters approved a constitutional amendment to raise the minimum minimum wage by $1 to $8.25 an hour and add co automatic cost of living increases each year. In Maine, the city of Portland became the first on the East Coast to legalize recreational marijuana. In Colorado, voters have approved a 25 percent sales tax on recreational marijuana after voting in favor of legalization a year ago. Three out of four Colorado cities also voted to ban the gas drilling process of fracking. A similar ban failed in two out of the three cities where it was on the ballot in Ohio. We'll have more on Election Day after headlines. Illinois is poised to become the 15th state to legalize same-sex marriage. The Illinois Senate gave final passage to the measure Tuesday night, hours after narrow approval in the statehouse. Illinois Governor Pat Quinn has vowed to sign the measure into law.